good morning. We're going to start our morning meeting with our calendar. Yay! It's June 2020. Let's make a calendar. Let's say the days of the week together. Sunday, Sunday Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What day of the week is it today? Mike, 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 what day is it? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, then Wednesday. Great job. Today's hump day right in the today middle. Today is Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. Fill in the missing day and date. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday then, Wednesday. Wednesday. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Great <laughs> job. All right, we have Anthony's birthday and Brandon's birthday. Choose nice baseball. All right, I'll save my calendar for later. For morning meeting today, I'm looking outside. It's cloudy, but it's warm outside. The question for today is, what makes you sad? So watching sad movies makes me sad. I cry a lot during movies. What makes you sad? I'm going to start by saying good morning to you, and I want you to say good morning back to me. Ready? Good morning. What makes you sad? Maybe it's missing out all your friends at school. And I want you to say good morning to someone nearby you. And I'll help you ask them the question, what makes you sad? Ready? What makes you sad? Let's talk about how we feel today. Are you feeling excited, happy, angry, bored, confused, calm, frustrated, silly, nervous, or sad? Today, I feel calm. How do you feel? Tell me in a sentence. Okay. Our code for our daily journal today is T-Y-L-I-U. T-Y-L-I-U. You're going to take your code and go to Nearpod.com or the Nearpod app and enter the code T-Y-L-I-U to join. We always start by putting in our name. This way I get to see all of your hard work. So when we do our daily journal, we start by writing our full name if we can. A first name and a last name with a capital in the middle. Sorry, in the beginning of both and a space in the middle. So I wrote my name. I can't wait to see that you wrote yours. All right, what number do you call if there's an emergency? Do you call your school, your parents, or 911 if there's an emergency? 911. Only when there's an emergency. When you're done, hit submit. Now, what day of the week is today? Let's pull over our calendar. So I need to find my purple star and go all the way up. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's a match, then hit submit. The date today is June what? We need to find the purple star. Here it is. And look in the same box as the purple star to see what number is there. Ten. Ten. So I need to write one, zero for ten. One, 
zero, then hit submit. Are you in a good mood today? I'm in a good mood, are you? Yes, I am in a good mood. You might say, no, I'm not in a good mood. Sometimes that happens, it's okay. What's something that you're happy about today? Hmm. Let's see, what am I happy about for today? I think when I'm all done, I'm going to take my dog for a walk. So I'm, I'm happy about walking the dog. Lila likes going for walks. Write about what you see in the picture from the video. First, we get to watch the video. It is an astronaut trying to do jump rope in outer space, and it's not easy. Not at all. On Earth, jumping rope requires jumping. Unfortunately, when we jump in space, we're going to hit the ceiling every time. Here, Valeria decides to abandon the jumping part of the jump rope and concentrate on the spinning part. This is not as easy as we expected either. Valeria had to raise his leg without pushing off, then he had to swing the jump rope without hitting himself or the wall. An unnecessarily long rope gets tangled easily. Doesn't that look so hard? Finally, it works. Valeria makes several mid turns of the rope, but he still tumbles and bounces into walls. Imagine you were jumping rope in space. We did pretty well there. It is hard though, right? So what did we see? What is this man's job? He's an astronaut. And what is he trying to do in outer space? He's trying to jump rope. Is it easy? No, it's hard. He keeps crashing into the walls. The jump rope keeps getting stuck. I think it's easier to jump rope like the woman in the beginning here on Earth than it is in outer space. So, write about what you see in the picture from the video. I see an astronaut trying, I'm going to write, to jump rope in space. Is it easy? No, but he's trying. My sentence is, I see an astronaut trying to jump rope in space. I started with a capital, I ended with a period, and I have no capitals in the middle. Now, I want to see what sentence you can write. If you want me to borrow my sentence, that's okay. But if Alex, I know that you can try and write three sentences. You can talk about the stuff he sees, that he crashes into the wall, that it's really hard. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Great job. When you're done, hit submit. You're all done.